Oh, I can hardly contain my excitement after that show tease there. Hello there, welcome to the show. I'm Mick Schaefer. Let's meet the panel for tonight. Les Norman missed Game of Thrones for this, didn't you, buddy? You know what? My nerdery is meeting for Game of Thrones board game night, so if okay. I miss this, okay. you and I are going down. Oh, you probably shouldn't have said that on broadcast television. <laughs> uh, Rustin Dodd here has no idea what Game of Thrones is because baseball beat writers have no life. Is that right, Rustin? Th that is true, Mick, and this is uh, congratulations on the new job. I know it's been a while. I've not had a chance to watch it yet, but um, now I have an opportunity to be on the show, so uh, congratulations on the, uh, the big move. He's got him DVR'd, though, Rustin does. Uh, and Seren Petro trying to figure out a way to gamble on Game of Thrones. It has the word game in it, right? I would think so, right? Yeah, there is. There actually is. There's uh, Game of Thrones fantasy. Uh, Nick, I'm, I'm surprised you uh, don't already have your league together as the yeah. commissioner. Uh, yeah, I got the last pick, so I, I quit. I quit in the little snake draft. Uh, Did you get the guy right, who has to wear clothes, or was that what was the problem? <laughs> that was it. That was the problem. You know me so well. Uh, gentlemen, uh, use that term loosely. Here are the hot topics of the evening. Well, what would you do with the Royals DH spot? Hitting the pitcher isn't the worst idea. Number two, are the Chiefs in a better or worse position to make a Super Bowl run than they were just a few months ago to begin the offseason? Oh, how January was such a simpler time, right? And number three, is KSU more likely to be first or KU more likely to be not last in the Big 12 in the football season? I have to think a little bit on that one. Sorry, Les, I promised you. No thinking. Uh, I apologize. It's all right, uh, I'll but, make it. But first, to our question of the week, who slash what should the Royals have on their shopping list? Maybe some shredded cheese, maybe some almond milk, maybe a human. Seren, you were leading off. We'll take a person or position. Who do you want? You know, I, I think this is a, you know, a question that could be asked in two different ways. What do they need for the postseason? Bullpen help, first and foremost. That's probably number two, though, on the list of what they need to get to the postseason. I know everybody would like to talk about getting the DH position figured out. That's certainly an issue for the Royals. But I think the bigger issue is that fifth starter. Look, they've lost a couple of really live arms uh, in Carnes and Strom that aren't going to be there to fill in at that fifth spot. And we've seen that they have already got a situation where Hamill's a guy who needs to be pulled after his second time through the lineup and can't even look at a third time. That's what happened Friday. Uh, he, he can only go about five innings. Then you got to look to the bullpen. That's a lot of innings when he starts. And right now the fifth starter spot is a complete question mark. So uh, what do they need most right now just to stay in the race? I think they need a fifth starter, and I think they need it right now. Jaime Garcia is a name that's been mentioned out of Atlanta. I don't know that they need an ace, although an ace wouldn't hurt. Everybody could use an ace. They clearly, based upon the price it took to get Jose Quintana to the Cubs don't have that kind of ammunition to go get a top of the rotation guy. So at least a guy who can come in and go six innings on a regular basis and save that bullpen for the rest of the uh, the rest of the starts, I think is what they absolutely need if they're going to find their way to the postseason this year. Good point. Getting the postseason and winning the postseason, two different things. That's Rustin, right. you're around the team every day, everywhere, every minute. What say you? Who would you like to talk to, I guess? Yeah, I guess I would uh, sort of agree with Saran where I would rank it. I think they need to look at starting pitching first, uh, probably does designated hitter or another bat, whether that's a guy that could play right field or mix into the DH role as well. Uh, and then bullpen help last. I think they also have some internal candidates that could help them in their bullpen moving down the second half of the season. Uh, but to me, it starts with starting pitching. Um, I think the Royals are going to be aggressive and, and looking for a guy. Right now, Travis Wood is their fifth starter. Um, we'll see how he does. But once you get beyond that, um, they don't have a lot of great internal candidates to be that guy uh, to give them help down the stretch. Uh, so I, I think they're going to be aggressive and see what they can go out and get, and they're going to a target a, a top guy. But as Seren said, they don't have necessarily a farm system put, to put together a package to go out and get one of those kind of guys. And we, we will see what kind of payroll that they could be able to add. But I do think that they could also be looking for a guy like a Sonny Gray. Uh, obviously, I don't know mm -hmm. that they have the pieces to go out and get him. But the reason that I think he fits for them as he would fit a lot of teams is that he's under club control for multiple years. And he'd be a guy that he could slide into the rotation, uh, not just the second half of this season, but going forward if the Royals want to extend their window. All right, last finally, you. We will, we will not accept 48-year-old former utility infielder as, a, as, a, as an answer here. They cannot go and get you. You know, if I'm going to be on the show, stop stealing my answers, all right? Let's go. <laughs> um, I think that the, the, both the pitching and the DH position are of equal importance here. Um, I can't give them a one or a two because, look, if the Royals are going to continue to talk about Mike Mustak is breaking the age-old Steve Balboni home run record, then we've got bigger issues here. Let's just put that to bed. If it's going to happen, it's going to happen. They need to 
J.D. Martinez-like bat that's going to come and produce home runs. I cannot watch Brandon Moss anymore swing way ahead of off-speed pitches. I mean, lefties make him look disgusting. Righties are making him almost look disgusting. He can only hit a fastball if he's guessing right. They need bat help right now because these guys aren't going to be able to continue to put up the same numbers that they've been putting during the, the second half hot streaks that they've had. Uh, Sonny Gray, I think, would be a, a great fit. Rustin mentioned him. Uh, I think he would be fantastic. It seems like the A's are, are definitely uh, unloading a lot, like a lot of other teams are unloading as well. And so um, a guy like him would be perfect. Mm -hmm. uh, there, there are different teams out there that are waiting, like Atlanta as well, and Jaime Garcia. So they, don't, they need a three, four, or five guy that can fill in that five-spot role. But I think it's of equal importance. They've got to have a bat to go with it because I don't think solo they're going to be able to either do one or the other and be able to carry him into the playoffs. There's too many guys up into that wild card spot. All right, good stuff, fellas. Coming up, put your Whit Merrifield base running oven mitts on, okay? Hot topics are awaiting you, and we're not afraid to talk football. Stay with us. Sunday Sound Off continues.